Let me tell you guys a story that happened to me not long ago that I think is really instructive for all of us these days. I was on uh, 635, which is a major highway in Dallas, and I was in the right lane. I was doing about 70 miles an hour, and uh, I made a big mistake. Uh, I had moved from the right lane, and I moved over a lane and did not realize it, but kind of in my blind spot, there was a, a pickup truck. It was like an F-250, and I literally moved right in front of him. I mean, I had to have been maybe five, six feet in front of him, cut right in front of the guy. And uh, I noticed it right when I looked in my rearview mirror. And man, I immediately knew that I had just cut right in front of this guy. And uh, before I had the chance to move back over to the right lane, uh, this guy ends up hitting his horn. And I don't mean like a little bitty uh, kind of like, uh, uh. I mean, this guy lays on his horn and he is like right up on my bumper. And he is kind of moving up on me and uh, man he was he was angry and uh, and I understood it but man the longer he was on that horn I could just feel inside of myself getting angry like why does this guy have to be like this it was an obvious mistake right and all I wanted to do was move over to the right lane and and uh, but this guy would not let up with his horn so finally I decided you know I'm just gonna move over to the right lane it's the right thing to do and and I look and this guy suddenly he just he jerks his truck over, one more lane over, and he starts speeding up. And, uh, and I knew that this guy was gonna look down at me. And, and I always joke, because I, I always say, I knew I was about to look right into the eyes of the devil, <laughs> right there. And this guy, sure enough, man, he pulls up right next to me. And he, his, uh, his truck was kind of jacked up a little bit. And I remember he had a big old cowboy hat and he had these, um, uh, uh, this long mustache and he had these like glasses on and he looked at me and I'm telling you man he had this look like he just wanted to he just wanted to rip my throat out and uh, in that moment I had a couple choices you know I could have given him some sort of disrespectful sign uh, I could have egged it on but you know what I did in that moment this is what I did I I put my hand up I looked at him I, and, I, and I just said with, with sincerity, I said, my bad. And you know what this guy did? The moment I put my hand up and I, and I owned kind of what I did, this guy ends up tipping his hat and gives me the peace sign. And then he just goes on. And I thought, man, isn't that interesting? Like just a few seconds before that happened, this guy Literally, all of his adrenaline, all of his, uh, of his endorphins were kicked in. He was in rage mode. This guy was furious at what I did to him. And just and literally a fraction of a second, by recognizing that I waved, I told him my bad, that's all it took for suddenly all of that anger, all of that rage to suddenly drop and for him to give me the peace sign and be respectful and then go about his way. So why do I tell that story? I tell that story because one of the things that angers people the most is when people feel like they've been disrespected, like they haven't been treated with dignity or like a person. And when that happens, it's so easy for people just to suddenly act and say and do things that they typically would never do. But the moment that person feels respected, acknowledged, noticed as a person, everything changes. I want to challenge all of us these days, whenever you are in a conflict, in an argument with somebody, one of the things that perpetuates arguments the most is when both people feel misunderstood, disrespected, and not acknowledged as a person. If you can begin practicing in those moments, demonstrating to the other person that you see them as a person and with respect, I promise you what will happen is the anger, the rage will drop and you then will have a much greater chance of peace, of, of har making some harmony or getting along with somebody and getting to a place where you get out of that deep anger and conflict that can just perpetuate itself for far too long. So think about it, practice it, it takes practice because when you're in that moment of anger or emotion it's hard sometimes to get out of that but I want you to practice that. The better you get at that,
the more peace you're going to have with everybody around you.